was meant to be You're right where you belong I know it's hard to see In this mystery
pick myself up. Oh. <laughs> now the dogs think somebody's here because I'm talking. A oh, butterfly. <laughs> okay, let's see how this works. Hey y'all, how you doing? Well, it's springtime in Virginia. And I have work that I have been doing to avoid the work that I need to do, <laughs> which you saw. Um, I've got work done on the landing. We have also started our raised beds and those will be complete before May 1st. That's my goal, <laughs> is to direct seed. And in the meantime, when it's cold and raining, which it has been, I make a rug. <laughs> it's for my new place. And it's all the yarns that I've been using to do Phoebe's sweater and Piper's sweater. And then there was a whole bunch of yarn that I've told y'all about that I bought and I had leftover squares from Phoebe and Piper's sweater that I turned into a curtain in the tiny. So I'm decorating both places as I go. Meantime, obviously the weather has improved and I'm very grateful. I haven't had to have a fire in at least a few days. Now, I made this because we had two, two or three days running, and it really didn't take me that long. I made it on a big needle, I made it with four strands of yarn, and I've even got a little video to show you that. <music> Tiny Shed is due to be delivered by the end of the month. I have not heard from them as far as delivery, but I have heard that they started work. So I'm expecting a phone call sometime this week to set up an appointment to have it delivered next week. So it's coming. Y'all hang on. Now, meantime, I'm living in the tiny, and I just, with the the weather got really warm yesterday. It's not going to be that warm today. Because <laughs> the, well, the not real clouds are covering the sun. So, it's still warm enough that I'm embarrassed to say, in the last, the last time I went to get some groceries and supplies, 
I didn't have the refrigeration and the temperatures came up and then I kind of got sick for a couple of days. Um, what I refer to as gut sick. So the food that I had bought was not, I couldn't eat it. So it went bad. But I'm better now. It was just a couple of days. And um, meantime, I have a 12 volt refrigerator. It looks like a cooler. I have used it in Dolan Springs. I will show it to you now. And it has nothing really in it at the moment, but I did plug it in. Well, I have to tell you, first I had to haul it out of the shed where it was buried under a bunch of stuff. Then when I got in the truck, I discovered evidence of mice again. So I've set a new trap. Doggone it. Anyway, I don't know if they're still in there or not, but I cleaned that up. And then I made room. I found my hammock. I've never gotten to use it. And I've had it since I left Virginia and went to where there were no trees. So I have it and I'm going to set it up. I don't know if I've got trees here that it'll work on. Oh, I could try. <laughs> I can't remember how far apart they got to be. But I might, I might can do it. I might can do it here because it's, you'll see, it's got straps on it and that hang from the tree without damaging the tree. It's really cool. Um, okay, back to the refrigerator. So then I got the refrigerator out of the shed, put it in the wagon, cleaned up the back of the truck, and then I put the refrigerator in the back of my truck because it will run on those batteries in the truck and it won't take down my batteries. Now, when it is cold and raining, I am not getting a charge. So if my videos are a little sporadic at the moment, it's because of the weather and me trying to get enough sun to power everything. And I have bought a new power station. It's a Blue Eddy. And it will be used when I get to the shed because I will have my air conditioning will be a fan. And it's a 12 volt fan. And that's how I'll plug it in to run that. And I've got, so I'll have two of those power stations. And then I'll just leave a battery and solar panels here for the tiny to, to work with. Um, so in case anybody visits, I have plans to paint the tiny. I have plans to paint my new shed because I never did that in Dolan Springs. And I already, I know what colors I want. I'm going to have a little bathroom with a nature's head composting toilet and a galvanized bathtub. <laughs> and it will be sitting in the floor, in the space where it goes, long before I have running water to take a shower in there because I want it to be rain catchment. Rain catchment in the backup is I can run a hose to the big house and fill it up and it will be hot water. So when I turn on my hot water in my kitchen sink, hot water. When I turn on my shower, hot water. <laughs> Yay. Now, um, let's see. I've done a lot of work. I haven't videoed it. So I'm just trying to catch y'all up and I've done mostly saving the planet kind of work. Save, crochet a rug, save the world. <laughs> At least keep all that yarn out of the dump because it is acrylic and it's very thick and heavy. And that's because it's four strands, four strands of acrylic yarn, which means if it gets dirty, I can throw it in the washing machine and the dryer with no problem. So now you're kind of getting a, a touch of my color scheme. But you see, I got my round table here. I haven't decided if I'm going to put it inside or have it outside. Oh, and I got something else, y'all. I bought a gazebo. I've had that thing. I call it a gazebo. It's a screen tent. It's called a clam. I've had it on my wish list on Amazon for years. I don't even know how many years. And I think I 
put it in there when I thought I was going to sell the property in Dolan Springs because there's no way it would hold up in Dolan Springs. And but it right now is holding the place where the shed will be. And I have done things with the grandchildren. I don't record everything. And I do want you to know, I do not see them every day. And when I do, I don't always record it. I try to catch a few pictures of the events. Phoebe's birthday. I went with Sarah, Molly, and Phoebe to the mall. <laughs> I can't even tell you the last time I went inside a mall. So I felt like, well, for somebody with such bad ADD, and, and the thing is, y'all, when I first started my channel, I used to do what I called a squirrel report. That was seven years ago. And it was just me, whatever was coming into my head. <laughs> squirreling everywhere, kind of like now. And then I'll just talk about all the stuff. Then I go back and I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense or that didn't fit. <laughs> so I'll take the extra stuff out. Aren't you glad? Otherwise you'd have an hour long of Betty just running around squirreling everywhere. So I'm trying to squirrel in my journal. So I don't, it's hard. It's hard to catch a squirrel. <laughs> And I lose people. And I'm, and then I circle back around. So I want to show you, I've got refrigeration now. Um, everything else is in transition and will be so. My friends in North Carolina are very upset, or at least one of them is, because I have not been back to North Carolina since November. And I was only there for a couple of weeks. And in that time, I was so, I was still recovering from all of the, the crazy that had happened on the road between Flagstaff, Arizona, and here. So anyway, I keep saying I'm going to make it back down. And I am. But now, I'm waiting on a delivery. So I'm not going to be able to do that until after the delivery. And there's Passover. And I went through the Easter thing, and, ooh, I got fussed at kind of bad. And then I was like, wait a minute. It's not that I don't celebrate the resurrection of our Savior. That's, that's a big deal. I just choose to do it on the proper day and not on a pagan holiday. So, <laughs> Passover's coming. And I'm looking forward to that. And my guess is, is that, that that week will be when the shed is delivered. Because I'll be going from Sabbath. A few days later, there'll be another Sabbath. And then there's another Sabbath on the end. And I feel kind of guilty. Because I ain't working that hard to get all them Sabbaths. But I am grateful for them. And I just, he speaks to my heart when I rest. Otherwise, I'm just a squirrel running around and you can't get my you can't get my attention. <laughs> so I am very grateful for Sabbath, which makes me sit down and stop running around like a crazy squirrel. So anyway, what's hanging over my head the most is getting my truck tagged, titled, inspected, and insured in Virginia. And along with that, I've got to get my driver's license in Virginia. And when I was looking for all the paperwork, I have four driver's licenses from Virginia. The first time I came up, a few years later, the second time I came up, then I got my name changed to my maiden name, and there's one for that, and then I left. That was only three. Where'd that fourth one come from? Something climbing on me off me bug I'm afraid to swat it it might be a honeybee there's a few in here so anyway y'all there's gardening to be done there's more crochet to be done and that's a whole nother video of another project that you saw the beginning of which is my heritage blankets for my grandchildren and I've got all the squares for Luke I ordered the yarn to put it together 
and it was not the right color. So I ordered it at the same time I ordered Isaac's yarn to make his heritage blanket. <laughs> so I might just start that one and wait on the yarn, the replacement yarn, to put loops together. I haven't decided yet because, of course, there's two more down the line, and I might just order some more yarn. So that way I've got it all on hand because there is downtime. I can only physically work for so long, but the good news is right at the moment, my foot is healed, which I don't know what happened, but it went, it was almost two months of misery. And at one point, I thought I was going to lose my toe. But I didn't. And I didn't go, I kept, here was the, eventually I said, if it doesn't start getting better, I'm going to go to a doctor. And then it started getting better. <laughs> so I didn't have to go. I just kept doing what I was doing, and it got better. Today, when I was cleaning out underneath the truck, I found my favorite shoes that I used to wear. I had two pair. My mama gave them to me before she passed, and they're Skechers. Look at them. Look at the bottom of them. Ain't they great? So I can slide these off and on. Let's see. There you go. Look how white my feet. Look how white I am down there. Of course, my legs ain't seen the sun from the knee down anyway for a few years. <laughs> anyway, so I found those shoes and makes it easier to run around. And yes, I'm a little concerned about snakes, but not like being in the desert. This area is more civilized, lived in, and snakes don't really want to live on your property. They would prefer to be away from you. So, um, I still got my eyes open, and there is plenty of food, obviously, because them mice keep getting in my truck and trying to eat my stuff. I probably got a bed in there right now and just don't know where it's at, and honestly, I don't want to know at the moment. I'm going to wait <laughs> once I get rid of them. Anyway, um, it has been said that I say anyway a lot, and I do. And I'm sorry. And I'm going to let it out as many as possible. In the meantime, <laughs> this has gone on long enough. I love y'all. And I hope that you are getting your, your heart prepared for what we see coming in the world. It's okay. We're in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got me and you, sister in his hands he's got me and you brother in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands and he's running the show i know it doesn't look that way but father is looking out for us i love y'all i've been sitting wondering in my bedroom how to move along and buy my day I've been low-key for a while from over-emotions Gotta go, I smell the air and find a way Can we just dance? Can we just dance and forget about it? I'm tired of the race Can we just dance and forget about it? Let it all go Fresh vibes in my head